Assalamu alaikum wa marhaban. Today we will talk about the meaning of who is this in Arabic. It means man hadha is for male, man hadha, or man hadhi is for female. So who is this means man hadha or man hadhi. Uh, let's talk now about also the grammar. Uh, we have the grammar here in Arabic. Um, let's see the example. هَذِهِ سُورَةُ أُسْرَةِ Means, this is my family's picture. هَذِهِ سُورَةُ أُسْرَةِ You will note here that we put the possessed in the beginning uh, and the possessor أُسْرَةِ after that. It's the opposite of English, yeah? Not in the same. So we put uh, the process in the beginning and the processor after that. Uh, so the rule here, the first word, surah, is the thing possessed and uh, it's called mudaf in Arabic. And the second word, usrati, is the processor and it's called mudaf ilayh. So surah is mudaf and usrati, mudaf ilayh. Sura mudaf and usrati mudaf ilay. Let's see now the other examples to understand more. We have now four examples. The first one, Kitabu Muhammad. Muhammad's book, Kitabu Muhammad. We put Kitab in the beginning and after that, Muhammad. Suratu Maryam, Maryam's picture. So, the possessed in the beginning and the possessor after that. Haqibatu ukhti, my sister's bag. Haqiba, the possessed in the beginning and ukhti, the possessor after that. Haqibatu ukhti. The last example, suratu uh, abi, my father's picture. So we put here suratu, the possessed in the beginning and uh, Abi is the possessor after that. Suratu Abi. Let's learn or let's say again. Kitabu Muhammad. Kitabu Mudaf. Muhammad Mudaf ilayh. Suratu Maryam. Sura Mudaf. Maryam Mudaf ilayh. Haqibatu Ukhti. Haqiba Mudaf. Ukhti Mudaf ilayh. سورة أبي سورة is مضاف أبي مضاف إليه. See you in the new conversation. السلام عليكم.